Alrighty, what's up? What's up? Jonathan here with Boston Collectors, and today we get to talk about Kylo Ran. Now, before we really start diving into this figure, first off, I want to say shout out to the seller on Macari. I was super, super happy to get this in. And not only that, the packaging was beautiful. So I don't include the brown shipping packages anymore because I feel like, you know, it could use a bit more content instead of just unboxing the shipper, right? I mean, it makes more sense. So this particular piece is going to finish the evolution, if you will, of Kylo. I have the Last Jedi version and I also have the Rise of Skywalker version. I really wanted this one and I don't believe I was collecting at the time in order to pick this one up. So super, super happy. You don't understand how happy I am to finally have it. So diving into the box here, I mean, it's your traditional stuff, right? You have the gunmetal gray, you have the engraved Star Wars logo, you have Kylo Ren there looking awesome. I... I, I'm excited. You got the MMS 320 Kylo Ren there. You know, the, the packaging is pretty much the same that we've seen it before, right? You've got the shelfware, totally understandable. I don't get upset about these things, but for those of you who do, I mean, you're going to have a hard time because you can't exactly request for a replacement box. So you're going to have to start getting used to subtle things like that from the aftermarket. But as long as there aren't any like heart dings i get like little corners and things having issues like that but for the most part the box is in pristine condition now diving into the box here let's go ahead and uh take off the top to reveal that awesome card another thing to note we didn't get the uh the the photo on the back of this box either i'm pretty sure that came much further down the road uh as they started doing the last jedi line but here we have the, uh, as you can see, the First Order Troopers in the back. Of course, they photoshopped in the uh, the logo. You have the, uh, the the galaxy in the back there with the TIE Fighters. I mean, what else is there to say? I'm really glad that they used the figures, though, and not, you know, uh, photoshopping in the troopers from the movie and photoshopping in the actor. They really take the product and say, let's shoot it and put it on the card. So super happy to see that. Nice card. And here we have the figure in its uh, sarcophagus, if you will. We have the instructions. I did read these before. Like, obviously, when you get anything from the secondary market, make sure you check it first. I understand, like, work and everything happens. I usually like to jump on checking it when the figure come in because the seller also get an alert, obviously, when something was delivered. Make sure to check everything first. Are the joints good? Do you see any wear and tear in places that you will find typical that people complain about? Look into all of that stuff first and then check that as soon as possible. For me, I didn't find anything actually. It almost felt like the seller didn't really use the figure. So I got lucky. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put the instructions off to the side and let's get this guy out of his sarcophagus. Alrighty, so here we have Kylo Ren and all his glory. So we have, we don't have that many accessories. As we all remember, like Kylo Ren, what did he have? He had a saber and he used the force. Like that's, that's what we have, right? So let's just go ahead and dive straight into the figure. At this point, you know, even watching back on my own videos, I think, can we just get to the figure? So we're just going to start doing that. We've been doing it, but anyway. Look at this. Oh, huh? oh, man. The hoodie is nice and sturdy. Look at this. He's so menacing. That looks incredible. Oh, there we go. Wow. And the clothing, I just, I think... What I wish is that we had wiring in all of this. I like that the tunic is a lot longer as well. That's the same fabric that we see throughout the rest of the figures. But I also really like how much that we have on this piece in terms of uh, clothing. Like, look at this. It feels like, yeah, we have a, a little bit of wiring in there, but 
not enough. Like I would have liked to have seen wiring and all of this cool stuff to just sort of animate it better and down here as well. But yeah, I think it's only in the bottom portion. Yeah, I would really like if they ever decide to reissue this, I would really love to see uh, more wiring throughout the rest of this figure. But regardless, he looks freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, get into the accessories, get into the hands and all of that good stuff. You know how this goes. Alrighty, so jumping straight into the saber here. Look at that hilt, man. That's... Uh, the thing is that I've noticed, you know, before we really get into it, I love this sort of like ashy look to... Uh, it's unpolished, you know what I mean? Like, it's got this really cool sort of rustic feel. And that's throughout a lot of the pieces, through the hands and the feet. Looks really, really nice. One thing I also noticed is that the, the side burners here, uh, or the exhaust if you will. These are a bit darker than the than the actual saber part, but overall looks like we got a yeah. We got a little bit of dust there. It's a little nasty, but <laughs> so I'm going to have to like clean that a little bit. But overall, look at this. As if we zoom in there a little bit. Of course, we'll be seeing the detail section of this so that you all can get a better glimpse into uh the coloring and everything but this is whoop, this is the hilt looks really freaking cool if you ask me we've seen this before but i don't know this one just feels so much better looks really nice we also have the lightsaber arm here i'm not sure if the previous owner used it the batteries are actually off to the side, but you know, some people actually like to replace those and use other ones. So we have the lightsaber arm. There's nothing really to write home about. You install your batteries here after taking out the screw. You have the switch. It doesn't really indicate what's off and what's on. So you just gotta kinda fiddle with it. Uh, luckily enough, they, they've done a lot better with this in terms of letting you know where, uh, where the on and off switch is, which way the batteries go. It is old. And we also have hands, oh glorious hands. So we have a relaxed hand here. Previous owner uh, chose to put the lightsaber hand on. And again, look at this finish. The other ones are definitely shinier. I love this, like this look to it. They all look so good. Like this looks realistic, minus all the shine. We have the fists, I'm telling you, man, like this is what we need more of. Like this one looks a bit more shinier than this one, but I like that dull look. You see what I mean? I'm not sure why that is, but it looks like it belong in the same family. But when we look at a lot of Kylo's accessories, they're pretty much identical to the other ones in terms of like The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. Like look here. Again, this one has more shine than this one. It has a this one has a dull look to it. But regardless, I'm just glad that we have fists. We have the uh, the other lightsaber hand there. So if you want to have him dual wielding or you know crossing over, that's what that's for. And personally, I'm a little uh, looks like we got a little something there. I'll see if I can fix that. Personally, I'm tired of seeing this force hand. This is this is tiring. Like we need more realism, you know, he, he did use his hands similar to, to what I'm doing here. Um, this, this is, this is getting old. I know we're probably at the point where we're never going to see Kylo again. I personally think we're going to see him at Luke's Academy. Like we've seen him in the comics and since he's going to be starting up the Academy with Grogu, I do feel like we're going to get a younger Kylo, but hot toys usually try to stay away from, you know, uh, creating children in their toys at least i know they made baby luke i know we've got baby groot but i don't see them creating a, a child kylo but regardless if that kid is using the force please stop using this hand we need you know more what we have with with anakin we need more of this and you know we need this you know what i mean not not try this Tr try this right now 
try to hold this. This is this is uncomfortable. Look at this. We got mini me and me. This is uncomfortable. We also have the final portions of it. Like, you know, the, the little bits, the have nots. We've got the instructions. The figure is pretty much straight to the point, but it's here in case you need it. We've got the batteries for the uh, for the light up arm. And then last but not least, pegs. Oh, glorious pegs. Super happy to have all of those. Thank you. We also have the base, last but not least. This base, it's got this like interesting, uh, that's the camera. Hi, say hi. We've got this interesting pattern there where the glass appears, like it almost looked like it's glass and it's broken down there. Unless, is that like a bubble film or something? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a layer on it. So I like the effect of that. Looks really good. Then we also have uh, Kylo Ren there. Got a little bit of dust on it, but you know, it happens. We've got Kylo Ren there as well. Looks good. And then we also have the standard crotch cradler. You extend it, pull it out like that, and you're uh, you're pretty much good to go. Alrighty, so here we have the, uh, the helmet. We don't have a portrait with this one, and I'm actually totally fine with that. We did get to see his face in The Force Awakens, but again, I'm actually totally fine with not having one for this one there are a couple that i would have liked to have seen not necessarily the one with the curly hair it just didn't scream villain to me it, i don't know i don't think my hair would look like that fresh out of a helmet but you know <laughs> it must be some really really good hair styling gel so it happens right but anyway back to the helmet one of my favorite helmets in star wars like i know we have the clone troopers i know we have vader i know we have so many other characters. Plo Koon is definitely over him. If you consider the, uh, the, I want to say the breathing apparatus, it's not necessarily a mask while being a mask, you know what I mean? But I digress. Back to Kylo. One cool thing that I would like to point out is the fact that we have fabric inside of the helmet there. And on the other versions, it's, it's sculpted plastic. So I really like that we have fabric to indicate shadows because obviously that's what it's meant to indicate. It's not just, you know, he's not wearing a, a, a stocking cap underneath, right? It's supposed to indicate uh, shadows. So the fact that we have that in itself is pretty cool, you know, right out the gate. As we all know, we have the, uh, the, the scars and the cool nicks and dings, if you will, on the, uh, on the helmet. We're all familiar with that, especially with the uh, previous versions, The Last Jedi and uh, Rise of Skywalker. So if we go ahead and turn off some of the lights here, you get a feeling for more shadows inside of that mask, right? It's, we have the overhead there. We don't have anything else necessarily providing any other sort of light. So it's just what's over top. And again, it looks very, very menacing. So as we start to turn on our lights again, you know, we get to see that it's still there, maybe from behind and, you know, just sort of, um, highlighting the side of his mask if you will you still get an indication that you know there's a person in there but not as blatant as having this on so again as we start to uh look at the closer components of the mask there we have those really cool you know it looked like maybe blaster fire perhaps and you know we have the the, the wear and tear the scrapes the nicks the dings I would love to know where some of them sort of come from. It's a reason that they hit so hard, right? I would like to, you know, know. Maybe not every single last scar on it, but regardless, you know, it, it looks really freaking cool if you ask me. Alrighty, so here we have Kylo Ren himself. This figure overall, like, I'm gonna say it, just this body alone feels so much better than all of the other previous kylo ren releases now we're gonna go ahead and start off with the boots here so for starters this plastic is a lot softer than what we see on the other versions of kylo ren this plastic is very very easy to uh, to sort of pose and get a better anchor on that pivot foot especially like there's a ball joint inside of there that will allow you to pose inside of that boot so much better. Like, I I feel like they should have definitely carried this over to the other versions of Kylo Ren because 
I am absolutely in love with. Not only that, but we're going to get into the rest of it shortly. Now, the, the posability here, I do wish that we had, again, like I stated earlier, wiring inside of the uh, inside of the other articles of clothing here and not just subtly as you can see if i scrunch it up it will hold but it's only at the bottom part of the clothing and that's unfortunate so we're familiar with the plastic there on the uh, on the pants the tunic is definitely as we bring it up a little bit more here the tunic is definitely longer and it feels a bit more realistic than the other versions because some of the other versions they have this uh, unique like black line on it on the ripples and you know it's cool and all but i definitely like the appeal and the look of this one a bit more so as we start to come up a little bit more we're familiar with the belt the belt is pretty much identical it's it's nothing different there at all i want to say maybe even like it's probably the same one across all three and I'm not upset at that. So again, we talked about the ripples in the, uh, in the design of the tunic here. It feels a lot more realistic on this particular figure. I swear, I don't know, it might just be me and you might wanna nail me to the cross for this, but I feel like this body is definitely the better body out of all three. The posability that I can get in this figure alone is absolutely incredible. Now, Again, the fist that I pointed out before, it's a lot duller than the other one, which I'm a bigger fan of. But again, the fabric here feels really nice. It's got this texture on it, as you can see here from the uh, from the light source over there. This, uh, I can't say anything better about this piece. The hood, which is uh, here, let's go ahead and put it on for you all, actually. That hood is incredible. I didn't put my gloves on for this one because I kind of ate, so forgive me. But uh, we don't really need gloves for this one. Plus, I just washed my hands. There, there aren't any shiny pieces, but you caught me red-handed. Anyway, <laughs> we also end up following that same pattern here on the hood as well. If we go ahead and turn the figure around here, that same pattern that I love so much you actually find throughout the entire back portion of the piece. So I want to say the color kind of look a little bit different here in comparison to what we have here. It's a bit more tattered. As you can see, we have the rough edges and it's a, a bit darker in my opinion in comparison to what's here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's not that much darker, but I want to say like a half a shade darker here in comparison to, uh, to the lower garment so if i go ahead and point out the uh the zipper there there is a zipper it's not too big i've seen people replace that with bigger ones and it's just so overbearing to the piece having that smaller zipper in my opinion is so much better especially when you're trying to uh put the other arm in this one to replace that so i i have nothing but good things to say about this figure and as we all know, if you've had a piece before with Kylo Ren, you have the uh, the belt there with the saber that can just pretty much slide onto it. You slide it out. Or if you want, you can have him slide it in. Really nice. I absolutely love this version of Kylo Ren. So this is definitely a 9 out of 10 figure for me. Biasness to the side, I'm not biased at all because I know I've been wanting this figure for a very long time now and I've completed the evolution of Kylo Ren so I'm super super ecstatic about that. Now there are a couple things that I kind of want to go back to. I mentioned I enjoyed the pleat on this particular fabric on the tunic outside of the other Kylos. I definitely take that back. The reason I take that back is because of the fact of taking the arms uh, not the arms, but the hands out of the pegs, which that's another thing we're going to get to after this, because holy hell, when taking the hands 
off of the pegs. When you're constantly doing that, the pleat sort of unravels a bit and it looks kind of ghetto and scrunched up, if you will. Like it's, it's nasty looking, you know. He don't want that. So I'm glad that they actually updated the tunic to what we have on The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker, Kylo Ren. Although, again, I, I, I think I like the feel and the look of it, but I definitely understand the upgrade. Now, going back to the pegs, those things are horrendous. Taking those things off of the, off of the hands, the pegs stay in the arm. I like when I take the hand off that the whole peg come out. With this, you really genuinely need pliers to change out those pegs. Now, because of me having to do so many poses, I kind of, like, I ended up hurting the pegs a little bit. Not to a point to where the arm, uh, it can't connect into the arm or the hands, but you can definitely tell if I ever wanted to sell this figure, which, newsflash, I definitely don't plan on selling it, but if I have to in the future, that will be an issue. Those things are a pain in my ass to do. Like I don't, I don't like those pegs. But other than that, everything else is perfect. I love the uh, the neck portion on this figure. It looks realistic. It, it's like this hard plastic sort of. Uh, sorry, not hard plastic. That's on the the Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. This is like pleather like. Looking up with this figure too. Um, with the helmet, you have so much range of motion with this particular figure. Outside of that, though, again, the, the plastic that I mentioned previously in the boots, it's very malleable. And being able to uh, control the pivot in that ankle for a, a more dynamic pose, it's it feels so good. I don't know why that didn't transition over to the Rise of Skywalker and Last Jedi versions, because I, I don't know. It's it, The boots are thinner. It's not as thick. Um, the overall, the dull look, I definitely prefer that over the shiny look by far. And I think it, when it come down to just the overall figure itself, just I, it, it's worth the price. I have no idea outside of this particular figure, not coming with a portrait. I have no idea why this piece is trending so low. I was able to pick this up for 200 bucks. Uh, not including shipping. I think including shipping, it was like 220 I suppose. Because, you know, you have to deal with the taxes and shipping. So it was around that price, I, I'd imagine. Nothing over 230 for sure. I'm 100% glad that I have this piece of my collection. I'm very happy to finally have completed the evolution for Kylo. Now I'm on the hunt for The Last Jedi Ray. Chances are I'll probably have to pick up the Jakku outfit as well, so... With that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. We have a couple more videos coming out super, super soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you on the flippity flop.